Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Monatui, coach of the Tampa Bay Lux Raves, and today I'm bringing you guys our GBA Season 8 Week 5... 5? 5. 5. There you go. Yeah, I can. 5 match uh, versus, <laughs> versus the person in the room, Tom, coach of the San Jose Sharpedos. Uh, if you've not done 30, please check out his YouTube link in the description below. Yeah, yeah, my 10 subs from 2000. Alright. Uh, get him there. Get him there, everyone. I hit, I hit 2,000 recently. Thank you guys very much. Make him next. Woo! That's your goal for today. Uh, so, yeah, we played we played our GBA game. Uh, that was that was something. That's what you're looking at right now. I've lost the ability to commentate games, and so I'm talking about the screen that's happening. Why don't you describe what's on the screen? What's on the screen are two Pokemon teams, one of which belongs to me and one of which belongs to you. Belongs to me. Uh, for, yeah, so that's, that's, we're going from right to left. We got Thick, uh, we got Hot Redhead, we have Mystery. That's Keldeo. That is Keldeo. And then we have November. Discord. That is a glide sword. Then we have, uh, Age Dragon. Dragology. And we have also Thick. We have uh, Gen 4 Nazis. Nazis part. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, but Nazis in your video. Uh, so I guess for a quick little... Sorry, uh, they'll demonetize the Lycan Rock Z move, but they won't demon demonetize the Nazi move. Demono, two weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so Snorlax is just Curse Figgy. Uh, Weavile was Life Orb. Keldeo was Subcom Mind. Gliscor was physically defensive. Dragalge was Dragon Fang, uh, four attacks. Uh, and then Regis. Plate. I think it was Dragon Fang. Okay. Dragon Fang cooler. Sounds cooler. That sounds cooler. And then there's Registeel, which is just, I think, mostly physically defensive to deal with stuff. And uh, also you guys are aware we're recording from my side, because since we're recording it together, I figured, you know, we, we're equal opportunity lenders over here, so last time it was from your perspective, this time mm -hmm. from my perspective, we're friends like that. That's right. My team was a Spidoof, uh, Roserade, Spikes Roserade, it was a Haban, uh, D-Dance, uh, Kamo'o, it was Z-Fly, SD Lando, uh, Choice Band Scissor, Diancy, Thick Diancy. T-H-I-C-C, obviously, mm -hmm. and uh, Mega Hondo. Yeah, so without further ado, we're just going to hop into the game. Uh, what were you thinking about a uh, lead matchup? So, in all my mocks, I figure that I want to get up Spikes. That was my main objective because I know you, and I know how you play, and I know for the fact that you do not get rid of Hazards. Nope. So, Literally I figure uh, Spikes, Rose Raid, is the way to go, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, then I'm going to lead with my uh, Regis deal. It deals with uh, Rose Raid lead. I didn't want to deal with... Um, I didn't want to lead with uh, Weavile because if you let Sizzler, that's just for you. Turn your boy, boy get, did that. You get early momentum. Uh, so you're going to get up your layer of spikes. This just means that I can get up my rocks, which are very good versus your team. It puts a lot of things, or it helps me uh, little things down for Weavile later on. Like, uh, Houndoom and Lando. Yeah, like uh, after rocks, Houndoom goes down to low kick, assuming it's not like a weird variant that John brought. Uh, then we. <laughs> Curse Flame Charge! <laughs> and then. Uh, after he gets up the first spike, I was like, I need to go into something that can immediately threaten this. I figured after I saw spikes, he might want to be uh, synthesis. So I knew if I spam seismic toss, that would be a losing battle. So I'm going to go out into Dragalge. He also doesn't have a great Dragalge switch in. Like, he has Diancy, but that takes Sludge Wave neutrally and doesn't do a lot. Are you going to murder this the same way Champ murdered yours last season? I would absolutely love to. I would love if this Roserade is on my screen as little time as possible. Ah. So I'm going to click Sludge Wave, gauge what kind of set he is. As you can see, this is going to do about 60%. Uh, or so somewhere along those lines he is going to be black sludge so he's going to be some sort of a supportive variant more than likely with synthesis and uh, as you can see there he is Cha -ching. Uh, going for the healing and i'm going to go for another sludge wave on the following turn again just trying to whittle this thing down i am doing a little bit more damage than he's healing back uh, i do have the... back one hp you did gain back one hp did. oh you did yeah so i'm not I doing count. damage to you oh, well boy. rolls are a thing that is also true but I'm clicking, uh, on this turn, I believe I'm going to click uh, Draco Meteor because, A, I figured you might want to go into Sizzler on the Sludge Wave and you can U-turn out and that would do a lot to Sizzler. Not that and old. B, yeah, and B, I didn't think you would want to go out into um, Diancy because I was just spamming Sludge Wave. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for Draco Meteor here. And, uh... This shows this, me uh, exactly what you, item you are because I know yeah, for a fact that so, if you were offensive, not Life Orb, more mm -hmm. expert belt. You didn't kill me. Yeah. You so, do. so you knew what item I was. Yes. I did not know what item I was. Mm. Uh, you're gonna send in landers here. I'm obviously not staying in with uh, Magic Algae. I'm at minus two. I don't want you setting up. You can just click uh, Swords Dance or whatever. So I'm going to immediately switch on out to my uh, direct counter to this thing. This Glade Store has Protect, so it can take a Z Fly and then uh, just protect on the regular flies later on. But you're not gonna bother setting up. You're just gonna U-turn on out of there and. Uh, 
you're gonna go out into the Como guy. I also knew for a fact that if you were bold enough to stay in with your uh, Dodalgy there, I figure I would just you turn out into something. If you were staying and you're going for Surf, you're going for HP Ice. Both which scissor can take and both which I am faster than. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, even if I did, like, you could have gone into uh, the Diamond thing. Yeah. To just get up rocks later on. Anyway, you're you're gonna be faster than me. You're gonna go for Dragon Dance. Uh, I'm gonna click Taunt. Because I don't want him getting up, uh, I don't want him setting up too much, and also I was kind of hoping I'd be faster. I also didn't go for Toxic here because I thought he might be Blum. And, uh, yeah. Uh, here comes, here comes the, I was also kind of hoping he would have Poison Jab over Ice Punch, uh, for the Comfy. Yeah. But, uh, you did not. Yeah, as we see here, you, uh, you had the Ice Punch. I'm gonna click Earthquake again. Kind of just fearing you to be a Lumberry. Uh, now, you of, weren't covering Ice, you, did you have Ice Fang? I did not have Ice Okay. Fan. I was Earthquake, Toxic, Taunt, Roost. Okay, because in my mocks, like, every good score at Ice Fang. Yeah, I was debating it, but I figured you wouldn't be sub on Landorus and Toxic was good enough to deal with it. I think, funny enough, uh, Earthquake was doing more damage anyway. Yeah, like, Earthquake small does... roll percent, but... Well, no, Earthquake does more damage anyway. Right. Ice Fang is 130, Earthquake is 150, but, uh... Ooh, math! So, I'm gonna send in Dragalge here, and I'm kind of hoping that he's more of a bulkier DD variant, because if he is, then, uh, this Dragon Claw won't kill if I'm Haban Berry. If Which you I were was, Bond, uh, supposed to be. You were like 65%, about? Something like that. But you, with the variant that you were, you would have knocked me out 100% of the My time. My minimum roll is 63. Yeah, so you knocked me out 100% of the time. Here I'm going to go into Keldeo. I don't have Icy Wind. Um, if I did, I'd miss it anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> he's going to Drain Punch. Uh, he's not quite going to be able to kill me. This is why um, I didn't run but... Drain Punch last week against Chimp, because this was the problem. Yeah. It's also largely why I didn't bring Comfy, because it same reason, just doesn't do any damage. Uh, but anyway, Secret Sword here, also not going to do anything. Um, this is a bulky boy. And remember when everyone thought this Mon was terrible? Right. And then like... Or I was terrible? No, well, this Mon as well. Yeah. And everyone was like, don't trap this thing, it's <laughs> bad. And then like, Ultra Sun and Moon came. And and we still banned its Z-move. Yeah, we still banned its Z-move, because no Omni boost. Uh, Keldeo's going to go down. Uh, and I'm going to send in my Registeel. And what you guys don't know is that this... This Registeel is largely physically defensive, and it has counter, so I uh, should have gone into this earlier, but he's going to go for the Drain Punch, and we're going to be able to click. With that, that much damage, we're easily going to be able to knock it out with counter. Uh, he gets all the health back, but it doesn't matter, so we're going to click Toxic, because we, <laughs> we don't actually have counter. Sweep's, Sweep's not over yet, fellas. Um, by the way, we found out he's not Lumberry. Um, it was your fear all along. Which was the fear all along, so... Boy, did I feel silly not clicking Toxic turn one. That wow, would, uh... it's like when I click Protect against Envy, or just clicking any move against you last year. Hmm, yeah. So, uh, there goes Registeel. I was gonna suck all the life out of me. Mm, those good, good souls. Mm hmm You're gonna create me for good measure. Yeah, yeah. Th that, that mattered. It did. <laughs> <laughs> the last, last amount of damage of the roll. So, yeah. Uh, and then, I forget what I have left at this point, but it's, you know, they're basically on death row. Just waiting for me to send him out at this point. They're being like, no, please. Just I don't remember what game. move you clicked here. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I didn't click anything, because I'm fairly certain Snorlax just, just dies. Yeah. Oh, okay, I do knock you out. All right. Yep, you, I didn't click anything. That's why I couldn't remember, because, uh, you know. Death. Death Ooh. is upon all, well, you mostly this time. Me entirely, actually. I'm going to send out a Ric Flair. Woo! Sweep! <laughs> Woo! And this is the first thing... First time Burke has done Woo! anything. Burke has done anything useful in a while. Ooh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trash can dragon shows its ugly head. So yeah, I sent in a bunch of other things, hoping that like eventually he'd get worn down enough so that I shard could kill. As you can see, he didn't. I shard also does dick. So <laughs> does like seventy. Behemoth. And uh, he's gonna just click drain punch. That's gonna kill about eight different weaviles. Yeah. So I murdered eight families of weaviles. Mm -hmm. Just like Chimp murdered your whole family of Roserades. Exactly right. Ah, okay. So, down goes the Weavile, and that's going to be the game. And up goes the Dongers. Woo! Woo! So, I won. Yep, Tom, Tom's the winner here. Uh, you struggled in our previous games, and then you came out in this one and just absolutely destroyed me. Uh-huh. Uh, so, congratulations, Tom. How the feel? You, uh, feels like... My ass is gonna be sore for a <laughs> feels like few my days. ass. <laughs> it feels like I can't sit, basically. How do you think I felt? Twice. Yeah, Twice. It's, that's my come up. It's right. 
Anyway, that was a fun match. I mean, all things considered, like, honest to God, I like, beating you, I understand, like, you don't want to take the L, but you're a good player, you know? And I enjoyed facing you, um, and I always do, honestly. The fact that we can sit here and record together and not be, like, you know, angry at each other for beating each other. It's, nah, yeah. I, I thought it was a good match. I mean, I, I was definitely afraid of your team, but I also recognized, like, you not having Slow King, you not having Zardex, you not having Kumpei, did allow Kamao to, to kind of come through. Yeah, like, these two Pokemon right here were just huge offensive threats to my team that I had limited. And for all Things blind viewers, what Pokemon were those? Oh, sorry, blind viewers. Mm, yes. uh, this, uh, is, uh, this is Lander Hysterian, and right. this is Como. Also, okay. for our deaf viewers, uh, there will be some Braille on the screen right okay. now. Just start feeling around. Yeah, just feel your screen, and you'll, you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you. Uh, some of you may be asking, why didn't you bring Comfy? Uh, there's like four other things on his team that deal with Comfy. Like, uh, Diancy takes no damage from it. Houndoom, Nasty Plops, and Beats at 1v1. Sizzler bullet punches me in the face, and Roserade beats me every single time. And even if you're like max defense, Babiri, like, you're still gonna get massive damage from the bullet punch. Yeah, and I can't knock you out with anything, even like plus one hidden power fire lane. Won't knock you out if I brought it. Also, even like Lander Hysterian, like Comfy doesn't do any damage to, and you can just food set up and ruin me and whatnot. And if I have HP for Lander, so I don't have anything to hit Fizzlor, and then I can't touch two of your things, and it's like, hey. I feel like your six that you had to bring was kind of, it was a little bit hard pressed to pick the right six, so to say. Yeah, Slow King would have helped a little bit. Um, I kind of expected Slow King. I was debating it, uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring it, and it ended up costing me. I was basically just afraid of things like, like Landers beats his still with the same move, Sizzler U turns versus it, Houndoom sets up versus it, uh, or does like a lot of damage to it. I was say, if you're AV, I saw AV, did, did a decent job. AV could have worked, uh, but regardless, it wasn't there. I ended up paying for it with uh, all of my Pokemon, and uh, this is going to be a 5-0 win to you. It's one of the worst uh, losses I've faced, hey. that's alright, because we got, we got Chimpak next week, we're going to bounce back, hopefully. And his undefeated streak. And I have Wolfie, so that's gonna mm -hmm. be fun. That will be fun. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys like the style of kind of dual com, having Tom in the room with me. I think it's fun. It's fun. It was enjoyable. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Go see my videos. Bye.